Do you think the tower is ever going to get back to what it was, Wim? I don't know. A great... I have been studying Mother's grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. Disturbed? Yes, perhaps that is the right word. One thing in particular within her writings disturbs me. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Not unless one also happens to be an ancient abomination. No. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then. So I must remain at the camp. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future, Everything else in her hut is yours. Not really, but the sooner the better, no? I am great. Again? I'm gay. Intrigued by tight leather clothing. I grew up amongst Antivan whores, men and women both. My introduction to the subject of sex was, shall we say, rather practical. My only rule regarding sex is that it be done well. <laughs> it's a certain open-mindedness that the crows seek in their recruits, for very good reasons. I have had to do many things in my work as an assassin, some pleasant and many not so. The crows recruit elven assassins because we are considered beautiful by humans. I'm sure you can imagine the rest. I cannot change my past, obviously. You are a most intriguing man, but if what I represent makes you uncomfortable, well, it would be better for both of us to know that now, yes? Just so, just so. Ah, enough talk of the past. As my tutor used to say, keep your eyes to the rear in the ambush and the bedchamber, and not otherwise. Ah, words to live by. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. And thus, you embark upon another journey.
Again? I'm game. Oh, is there something in your tent that needs assassinating? That is my specialty, or so I'm told. Mmm, that's quite an offer, especially coming from another man. If we are both speaking of the same thing. On the odd occasion, yes. I knew this would happen eventually. I should have warned you right from the moment you refused to kill me. It was inevitable. Ouch! Oh, a fatal blow! Straight to the pride! I may never recover, alas. So then, as the priestess so famously said to the handsome actor, what now? Allow me to make it simple for you, my Grey Warden. What comes next is entirely up to you. I was raised to take my pleasures where they could be found, for they do not come very often. I shall ask nothing more of you than you are willing to give. I must admit, we have come very far from those early days when I tried to kill you and you decided not to kill me. At any rate, we should be on our way. As you say. Yes. Yes. Yes.
Hello there, Warden. I'm a friend. I've heard you're putting up the good fight against Loghain and Hal, right? Good for you. Make a spit on all those arrogant noble bastards. I've also heard you have certain skills. I want to help you. Besides feasting and holding revels while my family starves, why, not much. In fact, they're beautiful, kind. Yeah, callous, wretched, depraved, and make accursed, self centered bastards. Yeah, sorry about that. They just need taking down a rung or two. Your likeness has been shown to some of the guards. The name is Slim Cauldry, and if you've heard of me, I've been doing a sad job of it, haven't I? I hear a great many things, and for those who view certain pesky laws as mere nuisances, there's some ripe fruit to be plucked out there. I can point the way. All I ask is for a little slice for myself. Well, one of my mates noticed your skills. Ever done bump and grabs? Do much blending in shadows? More of a second story, man, eh? The thrill of the hunt. Now that we have that settled, just ask away. Call me old-fashioned, but the Maker says thou shalt not strangle, decapitate or whatnot unless the other fellow really had it coming, eh? I realize sometimes you do what you have to, but restraint, right? So, what are you interested in? I've got a place for you. It should be easy money for you. Lady Sophie is an intimate of Al Hal. She's visiting the country. Sorry, they just get me so angry. That means her valuables are just there for the taking. You've got the tavern staff to worry about, plus she has hired a guard. Just be careful and you should be fine. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Do I seem a little nervous? I am. I really don't know what to expect. I'd like you to be there with me, if you're willing. Or we could leave, I suppose. We really don't have time to pay a visit, do we? Maybe we should go. Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Dana? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead. They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's, and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth, and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <clears throat> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some dwarf carrying all his riches, I expect? Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend. And a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well? 
So he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy? Except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. And let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can. Speak to whomever I have to. To ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm. That sounds all well and fine. But you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot. Such as, the only person who ever cared about me was Duncan, and he's gone. I, thank you. I'm glad you came with me. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. of a market district. It's home away from home. Dwarven crafts. Fine dwarven crafts. I recognize you from Ostagar. And trust his blood. You're a Grey Warden. You killed my friend. And good King Kalen. I demand satisfaction, sir. I have heard of the Grey Warden's prowess. I won't throw my life away. Too many people depend on me. But by word and deed here, you condemn yourself, sir. Hey, the wonders of Thanos. Arleman once bought me a miniature golem doll here, well, when I was young. Yes, what are you doing here? No, no, I am Waylon, Brother Genitivi's assistant. When you first came in, I was, was hoping that you had news of Brother Genitivi. Wishful thinking, it seems. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. I'm afraid something has happened. 
Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. I don't know. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi and they too have disappeared. Now don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. <sighs> so be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Callenhard, investigating something in that area. If you were wise, you would turn away and never look back. Please, I beg you. I do not think this will end well. All actions have consequences. Good luck. As you say. Something on your mind? How did a child survive that? The crater is still smoking. It's a boy. Five fingers, five toes. That's all that matters to me. The Maker has answered our prayers. Let's go home, Marta, and raise the Tyke as our own. Good day, and welcome to the Spoiled Princess. Is there something I can get for you? Brother Jin... Uh, no. Uh, no, of course not. I've never heard of him. Uh, I know everyone staying at my inn, and I've not heard of this person. Nonsense. Listen, the person you're looking for isn't here. You should be on your way as soon as possible. They're watching me. I can't speak openly. Don't! Don't look around and keep your voice down. 
They're looking for anyone asking for this brother Genitivi. They told me to act like nothing's wrong and just deny ever having seen the brother or the knights. What can you do? I do what they want because they'll hurt my family. I have no choice. You should be on your guard and leave quickly. I don't know what happened to the knights, but I doubt it was anything good. Goodbye and make her turn his gaze on you. Good day. More enemies ahead! <laughs> <laughs> 